One more. Left hand in the pocket though. Today's boxing and pad work drill, I got a special treat for you guys. I'm gonna show you a drill where I incorporated two combinations that Oscar De La Hoya did in one of his fights and Canelo Alvarez did in one of his fights. When Oscar De La Hoya fought David Kamal, he threw this combination. With that thing, hurt you all in the teeth. And when Canelo Alvarez fought Jose Cito Lopez, he threw this combination. Right through on his offense. And he there back goes again shot. to the body. And the right hand. Lopez is down for the third time in this fight. And so I put the drill together with both combinations together. And I got my amateur boxer, Danny Botus, here to demonstrate. So the way that drill's working is when I, the, first common, the first part of the drill is when Oscar De La Hoya fought David Kamal. He throws a jab at David Kamal, then he throws a right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut, okay? So that first part of the drill is that. That's what he did. He went, he went jab, right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut. Okay, a little faster. That's it. So if you, if you watch what Danny is doing here, and what I'm going to show you at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little bonus. I'm going to show you how you put angles into this drill as well. And right now we're going to do it without the angles. So he's throwing a jab, throwing a right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left hook to the head. Okay? Now, off of that, he's going to do what Canelo Alvarez did against Jose Cito Lopez. So he's going to start off with the Oscar combination, jab, right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left hook to the head. So that's a four punch combination. It's jab, right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut. So the left hook to the body is a little bit outside, then the uppercut comes back up the middle, okay? So then off of that, he's going to throw the Canelo combination. Canelo's combination, he throws on Jose Cito Lopez and knocked him down with this combination, was he threw a right hook to the body, left hook to the head. Right uppercut, left hook to the body, okay? And then after he threw that left hook to the body, he threw a right hand to the head, then he threw a left uppercut to the head and a right hand to the head. So he rattles off those last four very fast. He threw all of them very fast. But the, 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 the science and the art of that combination is he throws a right hook to the body, he comes back with a left hook to the head. He throws a right uppercut. When he throws that right uppercut, he's lifting the guy up. It's the same combination part of a combination that Gennady Glovkin knocked out Matthew Macklin. He threw that right uppercut, so you can throw the right uppercut through the guy's guard, and you pick him up, see, and then his instinct is, when he gets hit with the shot, is to raise up to pick his hands up. Then you go right back down to the liver, see. I love that shot. It's one of the best ways to open up the liver because what you're doing subconsciously to the guy, when you throw the right uppercut, you pick him up, and then instinctively, He's going to pick his hands up and maybe in because he got hit in. So he's going to go, when you hit it, he goes, oh, like, so he's bringing his hands in and up, which exposes his whole side for the liver shot, okay? So what Canelo did is he threw a right hook to the body, left hook to the, bo left hook to the head, right uppercut, then he goes with that liver shot. When he threw the liver shot, he comes back with another right hand to the head, then he comes, raises that hook to the body, back up the middle with an uppercut and then throws the right hand, okay? So he throws a right hook to the body, left hook to the head, right uppercut, left hook to the body. That's it, and then he ends up with left. So when I hold the pads, I'm going right hook to the body, left hook to the head, right uppercut, left hook to the body here, right hand here, then I'm gonna pick it up a little bit more with the pads and he's gonna throw the right hand. So. We're going to start back with Oscar's combination. Oscar th throws a jab. So our first combination is four punches. The second combination is seven punches. So we're going jab, one, two, three, four. Then he's going to Canelo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? A little faster, it looks like this. Okay, so have you noticed? He's going to throw the jab, right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut, and he's going to come back, 
Right hook to the body, left hook to the head, right uppercut, left hook to the body, right hand. That's it. So I, ra I, raise, I raise my pad up a little bit. And we'll show you from the other angle. So I'm gonna give you guys a little special bonus to this drill. And we're gonna put angles into the drill now, okay? So he's he's gonna make he's gonna make some angles here. So you watch how he can do this drill. He can throw the jab. Now he's gonna throw a right hook to the body. When he throws a right hook to the body, he throws that body shot and he steps forward and to the left to set up his left hook to the body, left uppercut. Okay, then from there, he can angle. I could throw a jab back at him, but he can use his imagination. You don't even have to throw the punches. You can just let, he can just use his own imagination, make that angle, pretending that something's coming back at him. Now he's gonna throw a right hook to the body, left hook to the head, right uppercut, left hook to the body, right hand, left uppercut, right hand, okay? So, I just want to show you guys another little special thing that you can do. You could do this drill with the body shield on. So I got a little bonus for you guys. I always like to give you a little bonus. I'm going to show you how you can incorporate this drill on, on a body shield. If you have a body shield, you can make it a little bit more realistic with the body shots. And we're going to incorporate the angles as well on this that we showed you, okay? So I'm going to go real slow. Danny's going to throw his jab. Now instead of throwing the right hook to the body to the pad, he can throw it to my body. Boom. Then the left hook to my body. Then the left uppercut. And he's going to step over, take that angle, right hook to the body, left hook to the head, right uppercut, left hook to the body, right hand, left uppercut, right hand. Right. So the, the first angle that he's taken, and he's going to go to the body, on the body shield instead of the pads, is he throws the jab. When he throws that right hook to the body, he steps over to the left and gets that angle. So he can throw a left hook to my body and then comes up the middle with the left uppercut. Okay? So you're bringing the guy's hand to the outside, you're getting that angle, and you hit him there, he's going to react to that. Then you're going to be able to come up the middle. Okay? Now from there, I'm, I just got hit here, he's going to step that way on the angle. Right hook to the body. See that? Left hook back to my head when I start to turn. Okay? Right uppercut. Then he's going to go left hook to the body. Right hand to the head, left uppercut, right hand. He rattles off those four shots. That's the way Canelo, he rattled those last four off very, very fast. The whole combination was very, very fast. So what you can do also, just give you even a little bit more extra, when he throws that right uppercut from that angle, he can right uppercut and he can step at the same time as well. Okay? So he could throw, he could throw jab, right hook to the body, angle over, left hook to the body, left uppercut up the middle. Right hook to the body, left hook to the head. Now right uppercut, then he could step over there again, see? And then throw the right hand, left uppercut, right hand. Okay, and we'll show you that from the other angle. It's all about your footwork. If you watch these videos and you really break down what he's doing with this footwork, I'll break it down for you right now, okay? So he's gonna throw a jab. When he steps, when he throws this right hook to the body, he's throwing the right hook to the body. At the same time, he's stepping left and up with his left foot and he's sliding his right foot. So he's going left, right, boom. Then he's throwing a left hook to the body, left uppercut. Okay, now he's going to slide to the right with his right foot and then he's going to drag that left foot with him too. So he keeps that stance where he's just a little bit outside of his shoulders and he's actually heel toe to the target, okay? So now he's going to hit me with making that angle, he's gonna hit me with that right hook to the body. He's gonna hit me back with a left hook to the head. Then when he throws this right hook, right uppercut, he can throw that right uppercut. And at the same time he throws that right uppercut, he steps with his left foot and his right foot. And he turns that right foot at the same time. When he throws it, he's stepping and turning. Okay, so watch that uppercut again. He steps and he turns. Now he goes left hook to the body. Okay, right hand to the head, left uppercut to the head, right hand. Okay. Watch it one more time. You can watch the footwork. When you're watching these videos, you, you want to watch these videos several times to break down the footwork and the different angles that we're taking and how, where his feet are exactly at when he makes these angles so you can get the footwork down. And then the punches will be that much more effective and they'll, be, they'll flow even better when you get your footwork down. Okay, so Danny's going to throw that jab. Throws that right hook to the body. Steps in and over. And he's going to step over to the right, 
and then he's gonna come back with a hook, and then uppercut, he's gonna go again, angle, right hand, left uppercut, right hand. So that's a drill that you guys, again, you can take it into the gym this week. You watch my other pad work drills, you can start to put all these drills together and put them in a flow or just practice them, different drills, different rounds. Each round you can practice a different drill. You start to really, really get your workout and start to be creative with it. And like I said, put it in your whole routine, not just on the pads, but try to incorporate these drills on the heavy bag and shadow boxing. So, Comment below, let me know what you guys think of the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at Tommy and Kello Boxing. And I'll see you guys next week.